I think five senses we have, I don't even use smell that often. Like, I mean, I smell things, but I don't really use it for like a lot of stuff in life. But you've created a business around it. It's impressive. Well, Very impressive. Smell is like the most important, uh, or the first sense that uh, when you experience anything, scent goes right to your brain. brain. I heard that. Yeah, Just right up there, right? In, in one instant, like I can have you remember something from your past. That was associated with a terrible or delicious smell. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Or um, I could help you um, connect with somebody instantly, but that's my job is to figure out like how to create scents that connect with people. Okay, so you are Lori Smith and you have a company called Perfume Culture. Mm -hmm. And you, what you do <clears throat> is you take not just companies, but the stories behind a company, and you compress them into a smell. That fascinates me, and Thank I would you. like to learn more. Well, I do. Uh, I work with, um, I, my background was I work with like large brands creating stories around fragrances, and I was a trend forecaster, so I had to go out and smell people, mm, like in the wonderful. field. Yeah, so I, from all angles. My very first job was yeah. going to concerts and to smell people. And no, for, uh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, and I you just smell people at concerts. Smell people at concerts and give the feedback back That's to so the perfumers weird. so that they so will weird. know what to create. So That's I work for um, the one brand that I work for that put me over the top was Axe for Men, and I was asked to go to nightclubs and smell men and bet them that I could guess what they smelled like. And then, okay, so it wasn't like a one through ten scale. It was like, is no, that no? I bet is the that... money. I'm like, I can guess your scent. And then I was some in places in London that the Axe team had me go to, yeah. and I would sniff men and bring that information back. It's old spice. If I could get the guy to yeah. lift his arm and I can I guess your underarm deodorant smell, like that was like a big hit. Like I got extra drinks from the Axe team. Really? Yeah. I can get some on my finger, but it's yeah. Like, <laughs> if you want to do it, I don't know if it's like. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's old spice. Yeah, I that's like their old YouTube spice. stuff. But um but so I started market research like that, like actually sniffing men in bars and that information created like CK1, CKV. That's so cool. Quicksilver, Axe. Okay. Yeah. So, so tell me what tell me what we got here cuz you've got some things that Well, today to I'm smell. at Stitch Factory, so I'm doing um, right. the same for uh, independent designers trying to create that same like uh, je ne sais quoi for uh, small people that, um, or small designers trying to get them into like the world of fragrance and... Um, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Who's that, that French guy? Fra I think Donovan? it's French. I don't know. Somebody's I don't not really French. We? That's all he knows though. Is it um, yeah. But I also do trend forecasting and I do my own like research. So this weekend I was in Santa Fe mm -hmm. trying to figure out what that smell is. Have you ever been to Santa Fe? I did. I went there just a little while ago. That yeah. Santa Fe so Institute. there's that... that smell in the air. Yeah, like a cactus -y, Type of like, like woody, wood. like. Yeah, like woody. So I went all over the town trying to figure out like what it was. And so I ended up in a shop called Body. And um, this you just, is. You uh, just hacked some wood off the wall well, or what to well, do? Well, no, I this? asked everyone in town. And oh. well, this is and part of it. Is what it smelled like? One part pinion. Wow, that's it. I'm that's like, it. you're that's right, that smell. is, that's Santa Fe. And the other part, <laughs> right? That really is, yeah. Wow, that's And weird. then I had to write a creative brief, like an ad agency does to like a uh, you know, the creative people. I wish I could share this. I know. Yeah. And then I this created like oh, wait. this in a bottle. These both Santa Fe? Yeah, that's Pinion. Yeah. One's Pinion, one's Palo Santo. Okay. And, um, but I spent the weekend trying to figure out what Santa Fe actually smelled like. Would anybody buy that? Well, I guess Santa Fe market, right? They want to smell well, like yeah. their city. Well, I just yeah. wanted something spiritual, something interesting, something like that you know, like, I don't know what Vegas smells like. I've been here for downtown projects. Oh, we, we, downtown nailed, we projects. nailed that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Chame, downtown <Yeah>. Chame. <laughs> but the idea of, like, Very. finding, like, I just like to discover, like, new things. So just walking around town, I had to talk to, I, I don't know how many people I talked to to get to that. It's one part pinion, one part Palo Santo. Right. And one part, like, magic. It's like the burning of the wood in the air. So cool. Um, yeah. So then I had to communicate back to a perfume house. And then I created like this. Hmm. So, oh, I see. So we, I took that. all that information and the wood, and I sent it in little, little chips to FedEx, you know, back to the perfume house. Okay. And I created that. Okay, so we're gonna test your sense of smell here in a minute. Um, so we're gonna come right back from a break, and then we are gonna find out just exactly how powerful this nose right. of yours knows the smell oh, of children's nose. drawings. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Right. 
Thank you guys. Okay. So we know you have an amazing sense of smell, I but do. we are going to put it to the test. Oh. And I am going to have you rate these five children's photos. Now, when you were a kid, did you did you like the crayons that smelled like things? Oh my God! I, I mean, played a, Hopefully not the markers. No, I played a game called Refrigerator when I was a kid. So we got blindfolded, and my brothers and sisters would make me smell stuff out of the fridge and guess it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna blind, that's called we're, refrigerator. We're, we're about to blindfold you, so you're, right, in, well, you're about good. to go in the zone. I'm I good. <laughs> Anyway, so we so we went and uh, we went to a um, wherever children are a, uh, a daycare, <laughs> and we found we found excuse me they're everywhere children yeah, are everywhere yeah kids are everywhere all all women can make them so it's just like it's a thing <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean all families can yes anyways let's shut that um, that's true so anyway so we went we went to this daycare and we had kids draw um, with markers that had a bunch of smells to them um, five different photos. Okay. So we're going to blindfold you, and then we're going to have you rate the photos just based on smells, not the quality of the kids' drawings, but just to take us back to that time when we were kids and, you know, everything smells so like a crayon. Gonna, it's just smell only. Yeah, so you're going to okay. rank these just by smell. So okay. if we can bring out the blindfold, mm -hmm. just to make sure you don't cheat. I know you're honest, but yeah. it's always <laughs> Ooh. And Jillian, if you guys recognize like her as our producer, thank you very much. Okay. At Stitch Factory all the time, too. Okay. So we have uh, our first one um, is by a child named Ryder. This mm -hmm. is a photograph, or uh, this is a drawing that he made of his mom um, just drinking a little wine, just relaxing after work. Okay? So go ahead and um, if you want to smell this and just... Oh, that's like peachy? Yeah, I'll get you right over that. Group. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, like really happy kid, like really good. Oh, okay, yeah. Ryder? Yeah, happy, Probably like a good peachy, kid. Okay. Can't touch this. Like, happily. Okay, so you like this one? Optimistic. Okay. All right, so we know that's that's a good one for you. Now we got uh, Maya. She is um, shoveling snow to make money. Wait. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just showed it to the audience first. Oh. I'm getting kind of like a wintry, it's like more of like a blueberry smell. Yeah, she's good too. Like, Oh, you think good? So you don't. You don't have to make assessments about their lives. Yeah, no you know? judgment. But it's okay. Yeah, like, like, I would say yeah, like just from their like smell. like a four. <laughs> okay. And for the smell four. on the happy scale. Okay, so like, a little like, bit less than the other, but still good. Fragrance is emotional. Okay, and this is this good. is a this is a child named Dylan. Um, uh. Surprisingly, same same name, but it, they're all different. <laughs> just names don't make the same thing. But uh, right. he drew this great um, firefighter just putting out a building. Oh. So if you want to just give that a whiff. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think about him? Probably a pretty sharp kid, I'm huh? I'm not getting. Hmm. Uh, I'm feeling like. Should I say like it? An, should I be honest? Um, not, you just want to be positive, probably. Okay. Well, I'm trying to be positive. I'm getting like kind of like failure. Like. <laughs> not. I'm sorry, Dylan. It's all right. It's all right. It's. Um, some people make mistakes, like yeah. you probably did. Um, I got nothing from let's that. Let's just move on. Uh, we have uh, this little boy, Harper. This is um, his mom um, and Santa Claus, it looks like. So it's a Christmas one. Christmas one coming Ooh, up I soon. Oh, I get like pine. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, like, I feel like it's like the village over by the pop-up shop. Ooh. Like really oh. happy. Ooh, I like, do know that smell. Like, over at the pop-up shop. Positive, energetic. So what do you think? Better than the other two or worse? Like getting presents. Yeah, that's good. Best one? Middle yeah. one or worst one so far? Uh, well, I feel like I feel like the last one might have been the most positive because of the holiday spirit. I got okay. the piney smell. Okay, so we'll put that one in the number one spot. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, and then the very last one we have is Charlotte, her mom shopping for melons. Oh. Oh. Charlotte and her mom are like interesting. <laughs> oh, are they? Oh. And how so? What comes in? Your are they mind? mother and daughter? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's very that fruity. That's very exotic. I'm not sure where they're from, but yeah, that's good. Okay, so this that's one's definite four. Okay. Um, so okay, so that was, the best, that was the best one. You like that more than the Christmas one? Ah, I like the Christmas one go. for right now. Okay, Christmas like one first. That's like okay. Christmas can we get shopping. the blindfold removed, please? Then we will reveal. So these are your <laughs> top four. The very first one you picked was Harper. You yeah. go ahead and keep that one. Thank you. We'll take that, and then, uh, and then of course make Charlotte. Sent for her. Yeah, and then you got uh, Charlotte, of course, with the melons. You've got <laughs> Ryder, who's got his mom relaxing after a hard day's work. 
And then, of course, Maya, shoveling for money. Yeah. Okay, well, that's great. Awesome. Thank you very much. I am excited that you came out to talk to us, and Thank I'm you. sure those kids will love the way you rated oh, all of the smells yeah. Thank you. in their photo. And everybody, check out Perfume Culture, and they can visit you over at the Stitch Factory. Stitch Factory, Factory yes. Okay, that's great. Cool. All right, how great was that, everybody? You excited? Wait, wait, stay there, stay Ooh. there. We're not done yet. We still got to do our outro. Right. Um, but everybody, we're going to be right back after this break, and we have the very funny Matt and Mattingly in the house. So get ready for improv, because they're going to be doing what they do best right after this break. We'll